Beloved ones, thank God and thank you. These words are sacred, and when you say them to anyone in appreciation, in gratitude for what has manifest in your life, there is a blessing that occurs because God is present within these words. Often you thank others for all manner of things that they have done for you or provided unto you. Consider adding the words, thank God, as you thank others. For truly, dearest ones, it is God that is the source of all. And when you thank God first, you are attentive to this dynamic. You are cognizant that from the Creator was and is all that is manifest. And so whatever may be bestowed unto you from another originally came from God. When you thank God and then thank another, you offer the first fruits of your thankfulness to the source of all. When you thank God first, there is an action of light that then, through your thankfulness to another, bestows upon that other the grace of God the light of God, the love of God, the appreciation of God within the gift or the service that that one has offered. Thank God and thank you, O oh my friend, for who you are, for your offering unto me, for your service to the light, for your sacrifice in this or that that you have provided as insight, as teaching, as a blessing to me. You see that these words even bestow upon your friend or the giver something special because you draw them to God through these words. Thank God and thank you. You are recognizing God within them. You are accepting the God light within their heart that may have motivated them to give unto you in the first place. Forgivingness is what God is, who God is. God is the pure giver of the universe to the creation. God is the bestower, the originator of everything that then is utilized by all created beings in their lives. Thanksgiving to God brings into the domain of the earth the light of heaven because God exists 
within the sanctum of eternality, within every moment of thankfulness, of givingness. Within the extension of your heart, your head and your hands unto life in givingness. What and who are you an extension of? God. What do you bestow upon others? That which originated from God, the source of all. When you see yourself as a giver of godly good, then it is so, because you see God as the source of what you give. When you offer selfhood, your divine selfhood, within your giving, you multiply God's givingness where you are. You expand the creation through the nexus of your heart. You afford humanity an opportunity to feel the living presence of God that exists within that giving spirit. That you have now become within your givingness. Those who reserve all for self do not know the awesomeness of God as love, as givingness, as thankfulness, as beingness. Yet those who unleash God's givingness through their hearts begin to feel their presence, know the reality of this presence. For givingness affords you the opportunity to feel your divine spirit right within you. For those of you who do not feel God's presence within and about you all the time, meditate on the principle and the virtue of givingness. For within it, you will feel love. And then you will feel the spirit. Your spirit one with God's spirit. This is my simple teaching unto you that really, dearest ones, is profound when you understand it as I understand it, as I know it, through personal experience and the givingness of myself to all of humanity, to the offering of my life so that all may live and be who they are in God as God's self-realized ones. I offered God's essence within me to humanity in the ultimate sacrifice of my life. And in this there was the alchemy of love multiplied millions of times over and over again as a bestowal of grace, forgiveness, compassion, and mercy to all future generations who would understand the dynamics within this sacrificial giving. What are you willing to give of self so that others may live as they are destined to live? Are you willing to lay down your life, God's life within you, so that others may be reborn in spirit to know who they are as God-created ones 
and live eternally in the light. This level of givingness must be extended day after day in order for you to build a momentum of sacrificial giving so that when that initiation comes of the crucifixion for you, not that you would be crucified in the flesh as I was, yet that the lesser self may be laid down permanently so that God may live permanently within you. Then, dearest ones, through all of those givingnesses day after day, you will have what it takes to say, O oh Lord, I surrender my lesser self. Even as I accept my greater self, your selfhood within me this day, which I use as a bestowal of love to humanity, as Jesus did, as my elder brother, who became the living Christ, did. Yes, I will walk in his footsteps. I will follow him and all of the initiations and even through the transfiguration, the resurrection, and the ascension and the light because I value his givingness and now I step into my divine givingness to all life in this alchemy of divine love. Every thanksgiving is an opportunity to self-realize something more of God's great beingness as you give praise and thanks to the source of all. Your meal, your time with family and friends, your communion with each other, Your sharing beingness with those closest to your hearts. When you start at the beginning of all that is, then what transpires throughout your day, whether Thanksgiving or any other day, is magical, miraculous mystical in its divine manifestation because you have accessed God within the essence of those moments those opportunities to continue the spirals and the cycles of givingness to the planet through your heart Thanksgiving should be a daily affair and the lies of initiates whereby they reach up into heaven, face God directly and say, Oh my Lord, I thank you for all who you are, all who I am within you. I thank you for all that I have that you have bestowed upon and within me. I thank you, my God, for this day, this hour, this moment, in which I may love you with greater love, appreciation, and thankfulness. If this community, all heart friends abiding within the greater aura of it, were to begin to authentically thank God as they thank others, you may just see a greater abundance spirit manifesting through all aspects of your 
lives. Because in the thanking of God, as you thank others, you witness to the light within everyone. You accept that light, you behold that light, and through your intention and your pure vision, you draw forth the greater abundance of God through everyone and everything, every situation, even every challenge. To access a greater abundant life, expect that God is there within the gifts proffered to you moment by moment as your life, as your beating heart, your breathing lungs, the bloodstream flowing through you, the essences of divinity that descend through your crystal cord into your heart and chakras. Think regularly on the blessings that you have rather than focusing on anything that you seem at any moment to lack. Focusing on lack creates lack. Focusing on abundance creates abundance. Directing the stream of your attention through thankfulness to God inspires the divine worlds to offer unto you greater light energy you know these truths, dearest ones, and yet still at times you focus on what is lacking rather than what is lurking within you now as God's gracious gifts of spirit deep within your heart. When you focus on lack, you leak light from your aura. When you focus on the mother load of the living energy of light, then it accumulates and there is a great amassment or amassing of many graces, virtues, blessings and boons. Focus, focus, focus on what you know is yours already because you believe in the laws of alchemy, of precipitation, of the abundant life, or love is there now and always and the bestowal of that light within you. As you are thankful, being thankful to God, first as you thank others, allows there to be precipitated the golden sunlight of God's awareness within the collective of you and your friends' awareness as one. When you say thank you, you draw yourself to your friend. And when you say thank God and thank you, you draw God into the center of that relationship and that friendship. Many say thank you perfunctorily and there is not the energy of true appreciation within their words and therefore these words do not inspire heaven to intercede to bring greater graces unto you through the alchemy of that thankfulness. 
Yet when there is authentic gratitude and you say, thank God and thank you to your friend, angels are there to witness what the response will be from your friend as a smile, as a you're welcome, as a hug, a moment of eternal beingness within that relationship and that friendship. The science of thankfulness is the art of loving continuously, giving and receiving, giving and receiving in the eternal Tai Chi flow of the Alpha Omega spirals of Father Mother knowingness within self, one with God. Oh, you who are unthankful for your life as it is now. If you desire to change your situation, your abundance, your body, your attitude, then do it through thankfulness. And give so that you may live. For those who do not give do not truly live. As you give, you are alive in God when that giving proceeds from a thankful heart, a radiant mind, an attitude of gratitude. If you would live in this state of eternality, then link all of the atoms of self in the stream of eternal givingness, for this is what co-creates the spiral by which you will live with God, one with God, in your immortal state of being. There must be a flow of givingness to generate the light to sustain your eternality, dearest ones. If you are constantly pulling back and reserving for self something of the ego, you will never attain the immortal state. To self-identification with the eternal giver of all. Yet if you offer self in this continuous stream of beingness through thankfulness for what you have and attending to everything that is essential in your life through reverence for that life within your heart, then you build the momentum by which, through which, God's eternal grace will alight upon you and one day you will receive that holy blessing. This is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased. I welcome you to the heaven worlds of eternality. My son, my daughter, I embrace you as my own because you were thankful every day for who I am within you and acknowledged the gift of your divine selfhood within your heart. Truly, dearest ones, this science of givingness and thankfulness is something that every disciple must know and master to reach the higher levels of the initiatic path toward Buddhahood, 
cosmic consciousness, self-realization, and divine oneness with the source. The more thankful you are, the greater the gifts of spirit that will be afforded unto you by the Holy Spirit herself. Realize this truth and invite the Holy Spirit daily through thankfulness to offer many more gifts to humanity through you. Your gift of divine presence to another is sanctified by the Holy Spirit when you are loving when you are thankful, when you are gracious and understanding of who they are, their plight, and you see beyond their human imperfections. We do not see From the access point of the all-seeing eye of God, your human imperfections, we behold you as you truly are in spirit, as light. If this is our purview of you, you can choose to change your purview of others and of life and of this planet with a new, pure view, dearest ones. And through this immaculate envisioning, transform a world that you are then thankful for every moment. I pray that my words will live and resound within you day by day so that you will make that progress that I see you destined to make by righteous choices. Taking up your calling and walking fully in the light. There are many Christians who have greater faith in who I am than many of you within this activity. And therefore they perform with the Holy Spirit and me miracles of healing and great bestowals of cosmic grace. If you have greater faith then put aside your doubt and fear about anything and I will be there as the Piscean master for you to conquer these permanently and never again speak of lack, want, desire from the human level. There is no fear within the true initiate of fire, for their fire has conquered that fear. Be conquering ones and know who you are and who I am within you. Yes, I am Jesus the living Christ manifesting and speaking through this voice to your soul for your growth, for your freedom, for your victory. 
Now that we have entered the cycle of God victory and Sagittarius, so be it through the victorious ones who with me conquer self and accept God as front and center and present in their lives, always thankful to the source for all. Always believing, always knowing gratitude as that divine attitude of holy grace through love. Thank you.